can you at least help us make sure Mobius gets on a jet ski at some point in time in season two? That's all I want right now. Hi, Kate, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, just enjoying the reaction to the finale and yeah, it's just been such a thrill. <laughs> Well, I absolutely, truly loved Loki. It is not just my favorite Marvel Disney Plus series now, but just my favorite Disney Plus series at all. What do I and the fans have to do to convince you to come back for season two? Because you crushed it. It was just that, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I think for me, it's like not an easy decision. It's just honestly sure. that when I started, I always planned, you know, like it was always six episodes and I, I poured everything in my soul as I'm sure people have seen <laughs> oh, into <yes>. those <laughs> yeah and like I, I'm so happy I got to work with Marvel and I hope we do again and I just I'm so proud of all the work we did but I just feel like this is my bit for this part anyway of Loki's story I feel like it's done and yeah and I'm very proud of the work we did and I'm I, I'm really excited to see where they take season two though and yeah nothing but love and respect for everyone involved and I'm, I'm i'm really excited for what fresh eyes will bring as well so yeah and, and you truly it was a great great series that ending was amazing to me you, it did really seem like you poured just everything into it so thank you so much for that right away can you at least help us make sure mobius gets on a jet ski at some point in time in season two that's all i want right now it's been so funny, so funny, because like me and the team, like Marvel and the writers, we've all been talking about it. So like, man, people like we definitely missed the trick not getting him onto a jet ski. People like, <laughs> but I've seen some amazing cosplay of two. I think oh, the Loki yeah. and this cosplayers like they were both on a jet ski together, which was incredible. But um, wow. yeah, it was very cool. I recommend checking it out. I probably Google I'm gonna it. Have to. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have cool. to. <laughs> I can't miss that. That's going to be awesome. Well, I hope we get to see that. Um, now that Loki is out and you've, you know, taken some time away from it and you've watched it, and you've seen the reactions. Is there anything that perhaps looking back on it that you wish you had included or executed differently or maybe something that was deleted that wasn't included in it? Do you know what? I would say no, only because like, I, I just feel like, you know, we all work very hard on the story and there's always so much more road to travel, right? Like, you know, Sylvie, sure. we've scratched the surface on like, what's her background? Like where, what was it like growing up in these apocalypses? Like, you know, we see her as a child, but then we join her as an adult and there's this big bit in the middle of her life that we don't get to dig into. And I think there's just so much that I, I'm really proud of. Honestly, we had to cut a few scenes, but that kind of is the nature of filmmaking, you know, like you, you collect all this stuff together and then you almost rebuild it again in the edit. And then sometimes stuff, I mean, we had a scene in episode one that was funny in the memories with Loki, but it just was so near Frigga and it didn't feel like it was giving that respect oh. the right way. So we took that out, but yeah, but honestly, I just, yeah, I'm really happy with how the story shaped up, but I, yeah, I like it. <laughs> No, I, I think everybody really loved it. I, I don't think I've seen bad reviews for it at all. Like at all. I I think everybody's pretty much on cloud nine with you right now, just about how great it was. So again, thank you to you and the whole entire team. Um, you know, you mentioned Sylvie. I really want to talk about Loki and Sylvie because I love their chemistry together. Sophie and Tom. Uh, Tom Hiddleston, of course, is so charming. And Sophie brought that as well. And it seemed like Sylvie was really, really the only one who kind of truly had an impact on Loki, besides his mother, of course. And it just seems like there's a lot there to be explored as well. So even though you're not coming back for season two, is there something you would like to see explored with the two of them, them get together, stay apart, conquer worlds together, um, anything you'd personally like to see happen? Oh, for me personally, I couldn't say, to be honest, because like, you know, I loved, I can speak for the moments in the show, like I just, I love that moment with them outside the barbershop, you know, and Loki almost seems a little bit tongue tied in places. And I remember talking to Tom about it on the day and I was like, I don't think I've ever seen Loki tongue tied. He has an answer for everything, but it was so interesting to see his character you know like everyone right if you have a crush it's like uh, oh, oh, you know what I mean and I think it was fun to kind of exactly to see that kind of like oh I don't know how to do this and and with Sylvie it was just so sad you know and she's like I know I don't have friends I don't mean how to do this and I think 
for me, I always think about Sylvie, particularly in episode six, like where Loki is in Thor, you know, she's driven by rage and revenge and it's coming from a very dark place. And I think that's what was so sad about it is that she's just not quite where he is yet or, right. you know, but her journey could be completely different because as she says at the very end, I'm not you. <laughs> so, right. I think, so I think that was always really interesting to explore with them both, but no, I, I, I love seeing that, you know, Tom's Loki, that the first episode, he wants the throne. And by episode right. six, he's like, I just want you to be okay. And it's like almost going from a very selfish act to a very selfless one, which itself feels like love, right? So, right. yeah. <laughs> well, and that's something that I was actually genuinely curious to see um, in the in the series, because I thought, well, you know, our the look that we saw die in Infinity War, he went through so much to become, let's say that good person that he was at the end. And I thought, yeah. uh, how, what are they gonna do? to make, you know, Loki that good, you know, in, in the series, but it, I mean, executed phenomenally. So uh, again, congratulations on that. Um, Thank you. you know, I think I read an interview once that said you, you know, probably about halfway into season one, you figured out that there was going to be a season two and, you know, you did that cliffhanger at the end. Was there originally an ending planned for season one where it kind of wrapped up? No, I, we, basically i think that's the thing we were always in a state of like evolution and like when i joined you know like the writers had crafted that you know loki and sylvie would go to the end of time and they would go to the citadel and they would meet he who remains mm -hmm. and we didn't know exactly how at that point but we knew the multiverse would like come out of this and that's sure. how that's how it would end so that was always kind of the ending we were working towards the ending i would say we didn't have set in stone yet was obviously Loki going back to this other TVA and that twist and that came in later and I think also just in terms of the season two of it all just the mid credits because we never really built in like mid credits for the show interestingly and it's obviously such an amazing Marvel staple having like a little tease at the end <laughs> right, and, yeah. and the whole team were like oh where can we put these and like um episode four for example used to go straight from the time theater to Loki waking up and I remember being like, oh, actually in the in the edit with my editor, Emma, I was like, oh, let's move it. So it's mid credit because if I was watching it, I'd be like, they just killed Loki. They just went and yeah. did it. Of course, again, <laughs> again. So I just thought, okay, well, that'll be really satisfying. And then also it's all the more satisfying because then he wakes up and it's like the amazing right. variant of himself. So that felt like a really fun mid credits there. And I felt like, oh, that's really fun to give that nod to that amazing Marvel kind of, you know, the thing they do. But then for episode six, it again felt like kind of a cool way to do it to announce the second season as well. Because again, it's the final episode, right? And it's right. almost like being at the end of the Marvel movie and you're just waiting for that, you know, tease kind of scene. So again, it felt like the appropriate place to put that as well. <laughs> yeah, and what a great, you know, for us who didn't know, like what a great surprise for a season two. The season one was phenomenal. I wish you had more time to talk because I'd ask you so many more questions. But uh, I'll just say that I, I truly did love Loki. Thank you so much for that. Thanks so much for the work that you put into it and the direction. Uh, it was lovely. I enjoyed every second of it. And it was a pleasure to speak to you today. Thank you, Kate. No, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.